What size copper wire would you select for a 62 amp load that's expected to run for 10 or more hours terminating to 75 degree C terminals? The correct answer is number four. When calculating your total amperage, you must do a 125% demand factor for all loads that are expected to run for three or more hours. You take your starting amperage multiplied by 1.25 and that's going to equal your total known load. Then you're going to head to your primary opacity table and find a wire that will cover the total known load. We take our 62 amps, multiply it by 1.25, that gives us 77.5 amps. Now we head to our primary opacity table, being sure to be mindful to be on the copper side of the table because it's asking for the copper wire. Then we're going to start right here in the 75 degree C column. We come down and find a wire that will cover our 77.5 amps. Then we come over and tee off and find our size conductor. Let's get to it. 